quite long enough to get through this because it's all hardwood floor and they're gonna be loud. Kind of hard to hold the phone and do this, but um, anyways, you start with your darker lip liner in the corner. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Sorry, my bath, my new bathroom has yellow walls, so my light is really not so good in here. And right here, you just want to go under the lip. That'll help with the more of a poutier look. If you hear a noise in here, it's my other dog. Susie's the noisiest little dog ever. You just wanna fill in this area. Fill in right there. And also, while doing this, I like to add a little um, Vaseline or you can do some um, plain chapstick. It helps freshen your lips, moisturizing your lips and making sure your lips are clean from makeup is also very important. And yeah do like a lip scrub gets your dead skin off and then you go in with the lighter color and you just fill in here and remember when I talked about your white liner it does a lot of different things. See how that's working? And then a dash of your but where I want it and then I will be posting the products that I use the names so you can um, if you like it you can order it and then a little daughter splurge cream right there just a light shimmer What do you think and this works with most any colors you choose you just you do your darker on the outer edge then you're a little bit lighter on the inside and then your white here and then you fill in you don't have to but I like to add a little more to it but the important thing is is make sure in the evening when you're doing your whole face routine that you are making sure your lips are getting done um, I just use just plain old Vaseline. It works really good on my lips to help moisturize it. And the more that your lips are moisturized, the better your lipstick's gonna look or your if you use lip liners. So tell me what you think. Drop some comments and also if you want to see any other styles, let me know. And there's your pouty lip with the...